In 2007, Daryl Dexter understood that coastal communities didn't want salmon feedlots in their harbors or on their traditional fishing grounds. He said the provincial government should respect the wishes of coastal communities. Last week I was down uh, in southwest Nova with some fishermen uh, talking about what's going on in coastal communities. They're all concerned that the provincial government lacks leadership when it comes to rural, uh, to rural communities, when it comes to coastal communities. Because they are not listening to the people of these areas. This is a lack of leadership in government. The first way that they can turn this around is by demonstrating that with respect to this project, they're going to say no. In 2013, the community still don't want salmon feedlots. They still believe that the provincial government should respect the wishes of coastal communities. But today, Daryl Dexter runs the government, and he's firmly in favor of more salmon feedlots all the way from Digby to Sheet Harbor. Why? is the provincial government so pig-headed about forcing feedlots on coastal communities. They are not listening to the people of these areas. This is a lack of leadership in government. Truer words were never spoken. What happened to Daryl Dexter? What happened to democracy? See our full-length film at salmonwars.com.